Hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Fox Simulator and we are here with Chaya and Adar and uh, they are currently in their den but they are about to head out into the world and uh, I do want to apologize for this video. Um, well actually no this video is on time but I want to apologize for the other videos being a little bit late. Um, I'm running a bit behind this week unfortunately. I was pretty sick over the weekend and um, I am feeling a lot better now thankfully but uh, I did get pretty behind on recording videos so it's gonna take me a bit to catch up. First things first let's make sure we go get some water for these guys because they're gonna end up getting pretty hungry and thirsty if we don't. Well I mean I guess the water doesn't affect the hunger <laughs> um, but you know what I mean they're gonna they're gonna get thirsty and um, then we're gonna be struggling to find water and food and it's just gonna spiral downhill from there. Oh good, we leveled up again. So last time we had a little bit of a disastrous encounter. Uh oh, and there's other foxes over there that we might need to uh <laughs> might need to chase off. Um are we going the right way? I think we are. Let's look on the map. I feel like we've gone the wrong way. Yeah, oh, it's just farther this way than I thought it was. Okay. Uh, but last time we had a little bit of a disastrous encounter with a bear, and uh, that didn't quite go so well, but again, because these two are just so early on in their story, oh, those are alligators, <laughs> uh, because these guys are so early on in their story, we're not going to force them to have to worry about um, the whole respawn thing we were doing with our red foxes, and so for now, we can just... Um, well, we'll just have to be careful. We're still going to try to avoid dying, but if it happens, we're not going to stress about it until they actually have a little bit of a bigger family and someone who could be an heir to them if something bad did happen. Please tell me these guys are not after us. I don't think they are. Oh my goodness, Atar is flying now. Um, I don't know what these guys are doing. I don't know why one is so much bigger than the other, but we're going to steal their food and just leave. Because <laughs> uh, that's kind of what we have to do, is we are... Um, we're going to end up being pretty pretty much scavengers, I think, for the most part. That is an eagle. I don't want anything to do with that eagle because eagles are generally bad news. Now, we might be able to take one out if we have to, but we're generally not going to try. And um, we're, we're, we try to avoid fighting larger animals if we can help it because as a fennec fox, we're pretty small and we're not all that tough. And I have a feeling that we wouldn't fare too well in a fight. So we're going to be a lot less aggressive than our red fox family and rely more on the food we can find and the food we can steal. So a little bit of a different play style. Now, there are some other fennec foxes over there and we might try to go take them on, but I also wanted to see... Oh, okay, so there's actually several golden eggs down here. Actually, all of them are in the desert, but the one is right in the scorpion arena. And so I think we'll focus on that. These foxes aren't overly close to our den. And I think we'll focus on trying to uh, complete our quest first here, and hopefully that'll give us some good experience. And uh, it'll give us something to do. Now, we're not quite to, I believe, t level 10. Yeah, we're at level 7 right now. I believe level 10 is when we're first allowed to have our first fox cub. And so we'll probably end up having one or two with uh, with the these two, and then their their story will focus on them raising their fox cubs, and then come the end of it, we'll pick which uh, which one we want to follow and such not. And um, you guys will get to vote on that. I think we'll probably end up we'll probably end up being a little choosier with these guys than we have been with our red fox family because we f are following all of them <laughs> in our red fox family at this point. But um, we'll probably end up being a little bit more. Like, we won't follow as many of them because they do tend to have shorter seasons, and we'll probably end up having two seasons with our each year with our Red Fox family, but these guys are going to be part of our summer series, and so we won't be checking in with them quite as often because we do have to uh, visit our Arctic Fox family as well. Uh, you guys will be meeting them once winter rolls around. So I think that's how we're going to balance it. That's kind of just my idea of how the series will work. I try to keep you guys a little bit updated with what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, and where I'm planning to take the series. So that's kind of where this one is headed. It'll be a series that runs once a year, and we'll probably have two fox cubs, and then you guys will get to pick which one you'd like to follow, because that'll keep, the, that'll keep, us, that'll keep us in a manageable sort of... Like, it, it'll, keep it, it'll keep it a manageable size for the series. We won't have um, as much craziness trying to follow a bunch of foxes 
as we may start to see with our Red Fox family. I noticed that we, they were getting pretty split up and uh, it was getting hard to keep up with all of them. Why is this so difficult? Oh, I'm out of stamina. That's what, That would explain it. Um, well, our stamina is refilling. Let's see if we... Do, okay, we don't have any upgrades there. None there and none here. Okay. Well, despite having leveled up, it looks like we didn't really gain all that much. So let's just keep jumping up the slope. Now it won't even... There we go. Okay. I was going to say, it's not even going to let us now. But um, somewhere down here... Actually, right over here is where those golden eggs are. I'm trying to keep an eye out. Is it snowing? I don't think that's supposed to happen here. Um, this is a very strange desert. My goodness, you don't normally see snow in a hot desert like this. Actually, fun fact, deserts can be hot or cold. When we talk about deserts, we typically think about the hot ones, but uh, there can be cold deserts too. The, the word desert doesn't just refer to an extremely hot climate. It can also refer to uh, just kind of, I, I think that what deserts mostly mean is a place that doesn't get a lot of rainfall. And so you can have a cold desert too, and there are some of those in the world. I'd have to look up uh, which ones specifically are cold deserts, but I think that would be deserts like the... I think the deserts of Mongolia are cold deserts. I think there's a cold desert up there. I have to actually see where they are. Um, but there are cold deserts as well as hot deserts. Uh, but where fennec foxes live, it is a hot desert. And so I'm kind of surprised to see snow here. Um, the desert I live in is also a hot desert. And we've seen snow here maybe... I, I want to say maybe five or six times in my life, and that's a generous estimate. <laughs> so it doesn't snow too often in um, in the hot deserts, and I think uh, the Sahara Desert, I think, is one of the one of the hottest ones there is. I'm pretty sure. I think it's even even hotter than out here. And um, so yeah, I'd be very surprised to see a lot of snow in the Sahara Desert. This, I can't imagine, would be a common occurrence. But then again, this isn't the actual Sahara Desert. It's not meant to be the actual Sahara Desert. It's kind of just a, a similar environment. Now, this is going to be a kind of difficult one to deal with right here. And, um, oh, and there's little, are these kangaroo rats? What are they? No, these are lizards. Oh, these are like thorny devils, I think. Yeah, that's what that would be. And I see another fennec fox up there that I think we'll have to go fight on our way. Yep, let's go ahead and deal with this other fox. And there we go. Level 5 fox. Shouldn't be too much. Oh, there's another one. There is, in fact, another one. Okay. Um, let's take down the one first. Oh, that's a level 8 fox. Okay, let's back off. I need to regen. Ow. I need to regen. Oh, my goodness. Okay, no, 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 no. The one is down. No, stop, please. Okay, I'm going to activate my healing powers. There we go. This is not, not, not really a realistic part of the game, but okay. Um, let's let that guy get a little bit further back, and then we should be able to take him on. And now that I'm back up to full health, I think we can take him down. I haven't seen that many black fennec foxes around here. All right, so what we're going to do is, we're, when it says hold to eat, remember that we're not actually eating the fox. We're just eating um, the whatever food the fox happened to have on it at the time. This game doesn't distinguish between foxes and other animals when it comes to the experience eat, and so we need the experience. But uh, what we're saying is that the other fox had some food in its mouth or whatever, and we just stole that as it was running off and claimed that and said, no, this was in our territory. This is part of our territory. As the other fox is running away, we're just taking the food it left behind. Uh, so don't don't get any crazy ideas. We're not eating other foxes. <laughs> and it looks like Adar has leveled up as well. Um, oh, here's the map. Okay. So right down here is where things are going to get a little bit touchy. So is that more? Nope. That's... Oh, those are rabbits. Okay. Let's come over this way. We'll kind of segue to eat. And we're not going to chase down those rabbits because they're pretty fast and I don't even actually think we have the speed to deal with them right now. But, um, so somewhere around here there is a giant scorpion. In fact, it's right up ahead here. And, and there's an eagle apparently too. Um, and I don't really want to fight the giant scorpion right now. Uh, I don't think these guys are feeling strong enough, but they might have to. If, um, 
if there's not much other choice. Actually, those are ravens. Okay. Um, that's a lot better. Now, the scorpion is right down here. Um, but these golden eggs are here, too. And so if we want the golden eggs, we're going to have to, um... We're going to have to sneak in there and steal them. So it looks like they're probably on the other side of that rock. I'm just going to circle around this arena area and see if we can get to the, the rock there. If we can get around the rock. Oh, and our stamina is out. This is not a good time for this. At least our healing ability is back because that's going to be a very important thing. Just in case that scorpion does spot us and we have to fight at all. I don't really want to deal with the scorpion, but we may not have much choice. So let's come up this way. Where are we relative to the scorpion? Okay, we're literally circling around. So the eggs are a little bit offset. We might be able to just creep in here and grab them. It's going to depend on where the scorpion is because it's a boss arena. So the scorpion could be anywhere within this arena. And the really scary thing about the scorpion <laughs> that I absolutely hate, and I'm just mentally preparing myself for it right now, is that it, um, it buries itself. And so you sometimes can't see it ahead of time. Okay, I'm pretty sure the eggs are just on the other side of that rock. So I'm going to run up here. This whole sandy area. Please tell me that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you, you're fighting another scorpion? Really? Okay. Um, I'm gonna help you fight- Oh, gosh, okay. Adar, you picked a really bad time to fight a little scorpion. Alright, um... I heard an eagle, and so... What I wanna try and do real fast is... No, we don't have any points here. Let's boost the effect. And then... We don't have a point here either. I was gonna say let's heal Adar, but I don't think we really can heal Adar right now. Oh, man. We'd have to have him fight something to heal him up. Uh-oh. Wait. What? I heard... I don't even know where Adar went. That's the golden eggs right there. I'm pretty sure. Yep. So this scorpion's gonna come flying out of the ground at us when we come down here. And it's gonna be terrifying, and I'm probably gonna get jump scared. Please don't kill a scorpion. Please don't kill us. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's right on top of us. Okay. Um, run, run, run. <laughs> so what we need to do is lure him away. Oh, my goodness. No, no, don't stop running. Oh, gosh. We're going to run out of stamina real quick here, too. I'm just going to dart over here. We're going to collect them as fast as we can. And then we're going to run for it. Oh, he's right here. Okay, we got the eggs. We completed the mission. Now we run for it. Now, now we get out of here as fast as we possibly can. And hope he doesn't follow us. He's probably still following us. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, we're trapped. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Oh, stay away from us, dude. Okay, run. Can we run up this hill? If we, if we run, can we escape? If we get up here, is he still following us? Oh, this is a tough hill to climb. Oh, he's still right here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is, this is why it's bad. This is why this is bad. Okay, we gotta run. Oh, and there's an eagle after us. This is not what I wanted. Maybe the eagle will fight the scorpion. Um, oh no. Okay, Adar, please run with us. Please run with us. I can handle an eagle, but I can't handle a boss scorpion. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get over here. It looks like he's not losing health, so I'm not overly worried about him right now. And there's a fennec fox pack. We most definitely can't deal with them right now. Um, let's go over here. Please tell me they're not chasing. Please tell me we don't have something chasing us. Because we might. And if we do, we're in some trouble. <laughs> um, oh goodness. Okay. Let's get over here, but we did find the golden eggs. So if we get back to our den, then we should be able to, uh, to deal with that. And to complete that quest. Okay. So there's fennec foxes over here. Let's see if we can fight some of them. It looks like this one here is... That one has, like, a gray coat. That one kind of looks like the Fennec Fox version of Arion in some ways. Okay, there we go. Very much so. It's a very gray coat. Okay, there is a little one here. Oh, no, that little one's actually level 10. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, we're gonna back off. We're gonna back off. I need to heal. All right. And then let's go back this way. 
and we'll keep fighting. There's the there's the level 10. Okay, Adar, I really need your help for this part. There we go. With Adar's help, I think we can take this fox down. Yeah, it looks like we're doing all right. Okay, we should be good. Now, again, we're not actually eating the fox. We're just taking whatever food it had uh, before we chased it off. <laughs> and here's another one. And there should be... There should be something else, or there should be another fox around here that we can fight, and I think I'll actually switch to Adar for this one, because Adar is a little bit injured and I want to heal him up. So, let's see. Let's charge in and fight. This is a level 9. Let's see if we can have, um, let's see if we can have Chaya actually fight it quite a lot. Um, well, we'll have to fight it some, but we need to, uh, keep backing off and restoring our own health here. Ow. No... No, not what I wanted. Excuse me, not what I wanted. I need I need my stamina back, okay. Or I need my health back, okay. Let's fight this guy. Health is back. We should be able to take him down, I think. There we go. There we go. And now our health should heal up all the way. All right. That's how you fix that glitch, by the way, is you just take damage with the fox that you're trying to uh, to heal. And even if it's just one hit of damage, that'll trigger the... the uh, that'll trigger the healing as long as you end up... Um, we're not standing in the scorpion pit, are we? No. Um, as long as you, you, as long as you remain on the fox that you're uh, trying to heal until it fully heals, then yes, you will end up healing up again, and it'll be really good. So I'm gonna try and keep Adar and uh, and Chaya here fairly balanced in their levels. I think that's kind of an important thing to do, and I I want to try to keep them somewhat close in level because. Any enemy you fight is going to be scaled to the level of your highest fox. And so if we have one fox that's like a level a level 50 and there are other foxes only level 20, that's going to lead to some obvious problems. So thankfully this fox is not as strong. Different coat color though, which is kind of cool. Maybe we'll end up um, using that at some point. And again, not actually eating the fox, just taking the food. <laughs> I know it gets old hearing me say that every time, but if I don't... Somebody inevitably brings it up. So, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. We'll go ahead and eat. And I'm going to see if I can level up Adar a little bit and keep him closer to, uh, to Chaya's level here. Just so that we don't run into any problems with that. Let me see. Do we have any other coats unlocked either? So you unlock that golden coat at 10 and then the gray at 20. And then the bl pure black at 30 and a blackish slash what would you call that color? Like a blackish goldeny one, it looks like, at, um, at level 40 there. So, especially on low levels, the mushrooms can give you a good bit of experience. I don't know what's down here. Oh, it looks like scorpions. Okay. So, there's a piece of meat we can grab. Scorpions aren't a big issue, and so, at least not the little ones. <laughs> the, the, the big boss scorpion is most definitely an issue, so, let's see here. There should be one we can go after. I saw him go this way. He's kind of stuck here, but we should be able to take him down. They're not all that strong. These guys aren't that bad, even if you are a much lower level. You can see that was level 10, and we barely took any damage. So, let's make sure we eat there. And we're actually almost up to level 7, which is really, really good, because, um... Shia is already at level 8. <laughs> so let's head back towards the den, though, and uh, we'll deal with whatever we run into along the way. We may have to stop the episode before we get there, but I'd like to get as close as we can. And even if we don't make it back in this episode, we'll spawn there next time and we can complete the quest then. Uh, but that would be a good thing if we can get that done. So let's head up here, and uh, we'll see. I think... Oh, that's a wolf. Uh, these guys aren't going to deal with wolves because um, wolves are much larger than them and I don't think we'd fare too well if we had to deal with one. So uh, again, we're not going to be as aggressive as our red fox family has become. They've, uh, they know they're tough and they, they take on other animals. Um, at least our, our family does. Red foxes in real life are a lot less aggressive than our red fox family has been. Uh, but the fennec foxes are really, really small. They're not all that strong, and so the most they can probably deal with is, like, the scorpions or the rabbits or other fennec foxes. That is a tornado. We most definitely can't deal with that. <laughs> um, let's keep going. And it seems like every time there's a storm, there's a tornado in this game. It just seems like that is the case, and that very well could be the case. 
Uh, most of the storms we've seen have spawned a tornado somewhere, and I mean, even the ones that we haven't, we could just be not seeing it. Because, like, it's already out of eye shot now. Uh, we can't see it anymore, even though it is still up there. <laughs> uh, which is good. If you can't see the tornado, then you're probably a good distance away and you're probably okay. Uh, not a principle you want to apply in real life. Tornadoes can hide in real life. <laughs> but the ones in this game are pretty obvious. So, let's see. The den's right up here. We should be pretty close. And I think we should also make sure we're eating the food in the den every time, too, because otherwise it builds up and you have literally hundreds of it. So maybe we'll end off each episode or start each episode by eating whatever food we find in the den uh, so that we can, um, we can continue to get the experience from that. So let's see here. Because uh, you get a certain amount every time. I, like, I think you get a certain amount for however long you end up playing, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's how this works. And so if we go back to the den here, if we run down into the den, you'll see we'll get this ability to eat some food. And uh, yeah, so we have 23, 21, and 19. So let's see if we can get Chaya down here. And hopefully, hopefully we will. Okay, there we go. And we can complete that quest. There we go. We can go ahead and finish that. Yeah, and we leveled up. So we'll let Adar eat this. Okay, so if we... Is it going to let us do this? There we go. I think... There we go. I, I, is it actually dropping the food? How is it... How does this work? Does it just give us experience? Yes, it does. And then you have to wait for the eating animation to finish before you can do it again. It looks like there's a little bit of a cooldown. So maybe I won't stay here for all of this, but I am going to go ahead and probably make sure I feed this to, to them here. Oh, but we have another quest, it looks like. Let's see. Golden mushrooms. Okay. We'll probably end up with a lot of these collect quests. Okay, they're all over the map this time, so maybe some will spawn closer to us before the next time. Uh, but yeah, I want to make sure we're eating through this food supply so that it doesn't get massively out of hand like it did in the, in the previous episodes. So we'll make sure we do that. And maybe I'll do a little bit more in between because I don't think we're going to level Adar up this time. So I'll go ahead and end off this episode here. Uh, because it is about that time again. Chaya is stuck in the ground for no apparent reason. Uh, that just happens, apparently. Okay. So, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.